Hi guys, welcome back to another Phoenix Wright live stream. Let me do the usual, I'm on the Discord now. Um, as it doesn't work, there we go. Um, on YouTube. Go. Yeah, welcome back. A bit earlier than usual. We're on the settings page. There we go. If you saw it. Um, honestly, I can't remember where we were last time. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, wait. We finished the trial, didn't we? Yeah, so we were found out that Morgan Fay and Ian Miney were in cahoots. And they tried to frame Maya for murder. Um, because Morgan Fay wanted to make sure that Maya didn't become the, villain, um, the master and it was Pearls. Um, and in the end, it turns out Eeny Miney was actually her sister, Mimi Miney. Um, and killed, well, yeah, she killed the doctor. I can't even remember his name, but yeah. That was fun and interesting. A good twist as well. I enjoyed the end of the case. The, the middle and the beginning of the case were a bit dull, but the end was very nice. Hey Paloma, how are you doing? You are ready for the clown week? Let's go. <laughs> it will be fine. Alright, I, I was just going to get straight into it. I think... This case is getting good. <laughs> it's already getting good. But yeah, the th that case, well, I, I enjoyed the last bit of it. It was very nice. Right, we'll, we'll load this up. Um, it'll be the same as last time where we'll watch the cutscene again, but it'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. And is this fine gentleman? The world's greatest magician. The one, the only. Maximilian Galactica. He's so fancy with it. Look at him glide. I'm good, happy. Oh, good to hear that you've been doing good. Um, I've been alright. Had a pretty long day of just... It was a barbecue mainly, because it's been so hot. Yeah, people being annoying. But, I mean, what can you do? I mean, <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I've got um, work in the morning tomorrow. I have to be in the office, so that's... That's gonna be fun. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Please don't get killed. <laughs> yeah, praying, manifest... I mean, let's be honest. It's this game. I wouldn't be surprised if the magician dies. Um, December 26th, 8.12pm, very big circus, circus entrance. Oh yeah, I forgot we were with pearls, aren't we? Wow, yeah, wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball. Not to mention the guy who flew in the air. Oh, that's adorable. That's, a, that's such an adorable little sprite. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A uh, ma magic -ian? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? Why is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. <laughs> Pearls is cute. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible accident in Cor incident in Korean Village. And it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. Is Pearls going to be accused of murder? Oh, yeah, I swear to God. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering, um, recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right. I can't miss- we can't miss last train. Bells, you remember the train? Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's got to be a spotless for a new year. Don't worry about it, really. You're going to visit Mr. Nick this- um, you're going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. 
I am glad you will get to spend your years with your special someone. God damn it. But Pearly, look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. <laughs> Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. That's so cute. I love that, um, that sprite. December 28th, um, 9-12 a.m. Martin Co. Law Officers. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Oh. I was gonna get really hyped for that, but it stopped. Maximum looks like one of the villains from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He looks very... I haven't watched... I've only watched, like, episode one of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and, like, clips. Um, but yeah. That sounds about right. Beep. Hello, this is the Ryan Curl Officers. Nick, it's, it's it's terrible. Ah, Maya, perfect timing. It's a terrible here too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess. I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my day office? What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check another scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the very big circus. The very big circus has become the centre of a sensational murder. The scene was created quite a stir amongst the throngs of ex of excited onlookers. The very, I mean, the very big circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder? Yeah, they arrested him too. Uh, arrested who? Max! Oh, okay, so Max, okay, he isn't dead. That's good to, we're defending Max, okay. They arrested Max Galactica. He just fl he flies away. Maximum and Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly for the sky at will. Oh, hello there, sir. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Oh my. Damn. <laughs> um, praying for Edge to make a comeback. We need Edge to come back. And this guy, he he fits LGBT. <laughs> He's our LGBT quota. He looks, he looks um, fabulous as um, as can be. <laughs> Alright Nick, I'll see you in, the t um, in two hours at the detention centre. Huh? What? See you there. You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? <laughs> okay. I'm so glad to be your attorney today, mister. Yeah, it's like... Sir, so I will do anything. <laughs> December 28th, 11, 19am, detention centre, visitor room. What are they talking about? Why do they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, man. Maybe he uses his magical skills to deal death with a, um, with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous. What, a, uh, what the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? There we go. Yep. So flamboyant. Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max! Nick! Look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He, he called me sweetie! Nick! Aha! Uh -huh. Time's running out, um, out, sweetie, pick a card, any card. Uh, th this one. Uh huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it, he got it. Nick, look, he got it. How is he doing this? Isn't there a glass between us? How did he pick a card? Um, I hope he shows up with that hat, cape, and pants, honestly. We need him. <laughs> so camp. <laughs> what can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max. <laughs> Well, time to make this for absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. I don't want to steal one of his hearts. <laughs> you do, Phoenix. Everyone does. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. The driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest, dear. You came to the visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Y yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. <laughs> Tell me it gets added to the court record. Oh, it doesn't. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? 
Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. <laughs> Sweetie, drop poked my head over there. Show me of your attention, okay? Uh, uh, oh, oh, yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe inducing. <laughs> I manifest honestly below my eyes. Put it out in there. Um, well, one doubt. What is this badge? Is it used for a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. Attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? You isn't wasting time, Max. You're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little over anxious, aren't I think? <sighs> um, sign it, please. I want his autograph, honestly. I mean, granted, he's a bit rude to Phoenix, but you know, pretty funny. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about more, a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous. I think we should get to know each other better too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Exactly. So how did you pick a card, Maya? Tell me the secrets. <laughs> oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? If only I could use magic, because then I can make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately... Oh, wait, anyways. Lately, you've, been, you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Jeez. People nowadays. They got their panties all in a bunch of them over nothing. I mean, that's just anyone these days. And we, like... In 2023, anyone, like you'll say anything and they'll be on you. <laughs> anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed, it was fabulous. I won um, the Magician's Grand Prix, held up by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes I am the most fabuloso of fabulous m world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust, it was fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certified to be the greatest magician in the world. Okay, I guess he didn't win a trophy for mo the most modest magician. Probably not. Um, you're signed to an ex a exclusive contract with the very big circuit, correct? That's the long and short of it. Uh, you sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You can't just what you just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fa fabulously popular. People come in droves to catch a glimpse of the m magic of Maximum Galactica. Galactica? <laughs> I have revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty um, circus performances obsolete. But well, I kind of like the circus performances. I mean, clearly he's just he's just proven the fact that someone probably has it out for him and wants him gone. That's probably why he's been afraid for Beta. Mine looks a little bit down. <laughs> so what did he do? Tax fraud? A part of the devil? I know. <laughs> He's done it all of the above. Tell me what happened at the Baby Circus. Ah, last night the ringmaster was murdered. Oh, okay, interesting. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was in the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. Now please question me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was merged. I saw him that la um, I saw him la last evening in his room. So then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an end to our mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult me on the matters. That's all. Is he not aware he's being arrested? <laughs> Nick, I don't think Max understand how serious this is. Which is right. I think I should shock him back into reality. Oh dear. Well, the murder, you met up with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that are for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I'm the one that brings in the crowds. 
I think that should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? I yes. Um, that's what you're talking about? Of course. It was a fabulous chat. Oh. <laughs> oh, free. Just fabulous. I mean, ugh, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Anyways, I'd be, I'd be cur um, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Yeah, this is where he's going to find out he's... Yeah. But because you've been arrested for murder. Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I am the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm a very big star of the very big circus. And that means... I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. I'm doing the hand... I don't know what's wrong with this game specifically. I'm doing all the hand motions. I'm literally doing this with my hand. Like the... Swinging it backwards and forwards. <laughs> Which means what? Max? Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all of this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um... Yes? Fuck you, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am today. Please, help me! I didn't kill nobody! I didn't kill nobody? Oh, is he like- Oh, okay. Um, are you sure it was an elephant who killed him? You know, six has, are not exactly nice to animals. We still have Myers Crystal. Apparently, we, yeah, apparently we still have the Magatama. Um, so that's good. Um, sure, but I love the idea of being like, no, it was the elephant, I promise. <laughs> Someone else did it. It was not Max. I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane. I, 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 I could never. Max? I swear. I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, just I'll take your case. Really? Really? Oh, thank you much. Y'all sure are some nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johns. Oh god. He's, he's also country, kind of. He's a farm guy. <laughs> What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a, a country bumpkin. Like, lot of heart. Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Uh huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How do you- You got it right, again. What can I say? You two. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Max- uh, of Max- Maximilian's Galact- Maximilian Galactica's heart. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Ah, <laughs> I put in my faith in you, sweetie. It didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Okay. I'm assuming we can't do that yet, so we'll come back to that. Poor guy, he escaped Stardew Valley. Yep. You know who this is? This is probably, um, Shane. <laughs> this is Shane when his life took a turn. <laughs> Shane if he wasn't an alcoholic. <laughs> December 28th, Ranko Law Officers. Alright, we've got lots to, um, lots of things to look into. No time for slacking, let's get going. Okay. What, what's the matter? You seem down. Maximum Galactica, who would have guessed he was a country bunker? That was it. Oh, what to do, any ideas now? I feel like we don't need to do that, right? Circus entrance. December 28, very big circus, circus entrance. <gasps> Blur, how's it going? How you doing? Not Shane on drugs. <laughs> Mike's familiar is Shane. <laughs> we're, here, uh, we're here again. Yep, but this time we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about the, what happened. Sounds like a plan. Move. Okay. Oh, a lot of places. 
Lodging House Plaza. December 28th, Lodging House Plaza. It seems to be a dorm world of performance on the circus day. Really? So you might run into the Stoogie cl um, Clown here, right? He looks he's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it, um, how is it you guys always been, um, know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? You know what, I still can't get Gumshoe's voice right. It always goes off, just somewhere random. Um, oh, good to hear you're doing alright though, Blur. How, how is Finland? Is the weather alright there? You guys are also melting? You're freezing a bit. Oh my god, Plumber, I, I envy you. I'm so warm right now, honestly. Oh my god, no. Oh, I'm actually so jealous it's cold over there. England's been so hot. Uh -huh. You always work, Detective. Well, I haven't always been working, but with crime, that poor crime, you're doing what you're in ours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, so I want to see the lion tamer on the type of But no matter where I go, the show's always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained. <laughs> That's alright, Rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Badge. Come on. You flashed that badge at me so many times it didn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and then? Again. Every now and again. Well, I do have the still samurai badge with me. How about that one? I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a still samurai police badge. And it's a deal. I hear that Detective Gumshoe has a very that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Finland is a going how just perfect on a camp where it'll be hot as hell. Oh, actually, yeah, camping in this, in heat, oh, ugh, ugh, oh, that actually makes me uncomfortable. Um, do you know who the prosecutor in the court, it, um, mm, do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Probably Francisco, I don't know, right? Of course, it'll be Miss Von Garner. Oh, she isn't going to hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Surely someone should ban her. This case is pretty zesty. Honestly, Maximilian is zesty. <laughs> He's fabulous. Um, Detective Gumshoe, I'm, I'm sure Miss Von Karma really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. Thank you, Maya. Maya, Maya knows what's up. You know, Nick's true lover, Miles Edgeworth. Yes, I replaced Rival with Lover and what? What in the world happened after I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick, I want answers. Hopefully, I don't get heat shook out of faith of the warmest. I'm not made of warm of, for warm weather. Honestly, yeah, I can't handle. It. I used to get those boots. <sighs> I used to get those boots all the time, and like, m like in heat specifically. I haven't had one in a while, but no, my look, I will get one this week. I think most of the circus was made of, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside on call. Pretty sad way to go out, if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the ground, pal. The body was found right over there. Why right about where you are standing right now? Ah! Oh, ho, ho. I surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a bullet on Nong, pal. Yeep. Yeep. It's pretty clear cut as far as murder murders goes. He was discovered quickly. But, but, there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. <laughs> there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What's this one thing that just didn't fit quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Wait. Oh, I thought someone was knocking. It's raining outside. That's so nice. He retired. He lives in Brazil now. He dances samba and walks his dog on the beach. He walks Missile, the little puppy in the first game. Oh. Um, <laughs> with the blue badger. <laughs> um, look at this picture of the crime scene. 
What's this? This wooden book sitting in the body. No clue, pal. Some forensics expert took it back and I examined it now. And, and, what's so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in the picture. The victim's, the vi victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. Problem is, the killer's footprints aren't there. Hmm. Interesting. Big go. <sighs> where did the killer come from, and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there's no way the killer committed this crime while flying. Oh, a flying culprit? I mean, what, I was gonna say, oh, that's when something just clicked in my head. We saw the man flying, so is that gonna be the argument that he knows how to fly? There's no way, flying is impossible. That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. Hmm. What's with the whole laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Best aid? It means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of them. Crime photo, okay. Um, if it's raining, I recommend opening the window. The air's cooler normally. Um, to be fair, yeah, my window is open, but I've drawn the blinds. Let me turn it diagonally. Oh, my window's actually very wide open. I'm pretty, pretty loud. <laughs> you know what, no, I'm gonna close the blinds a bit. There we go. So, my window is still open. Uh, the thing is, right, okay, I don't think I've actually talked about this. I have a huge phobia of moths. For some reason, moths genuinely terrify me because they're so erratic. And yesterday, two of them came in my room. I'm just scared that there's gonna be another one that comes in and I'm gonna, I'll have to end stream. <laughs> like, straight up. <laughs> we'll spend 10 minutes trying to get rid of it. Um, exactly. Um, the way the rain can go inside and clean the floors. Exactly, Chloe. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, now I'm just on edge. <laughs> I'm on edge with. I just don't want to be too loud either. Granted, it's only it's 10:30. We've actually streamed at a normal time. You know what? Okay, no, that's fine. Stingy. Okay, let's see. It's like he he was walking with the box, maybe. And then someone whacked him over the head and he fell over. I don't know. Move. Second entrance. Move. Big top. December 28th. Very big circus. Big top. His egg stage doesn't, um, sure doesn't look sm this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You're, you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Brrr. Is it a tiger? Ah. It's an actual tiger. T -t 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 tiger! He's, he's coming this way. They are. And my neighbors have beef farms, so they get our bathroom and it's terrible. I'm always scared they get on my room. Honestly, yeah, no, I hate moths. Some moths are just. They're so stupid. <laughs> ah! We died. Game over. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick, stay. Stay. Heal. Ah. I know that was the lion, but I went, oh. I'm still here. Not dead. Yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? Aha, uh -huh, I scared you, didn't I? Oh. Hello. Regent is a cute tiger, isn't he? She looks adorable. She looks like some sailor moon. What's the matter? You two are sh sure are quiet. Don't, what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Uh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tar tiger hardly ever bites people. And hardly ever. <laughs> Humans being hardly ever. No. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? Um, I love kitties, honestly. Toddlers and tiaras. Yeah, very much of that. So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Yeah. Huh? You agree, don't you? Hmm. Killer. I, I guess. What do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? 
Woohoo! Yo costume! Eh? It's cute! I wanna try it on! C costume? Do you mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! <laughs> wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. She's like a flirt. She's like, she's like April May. She just gets away. She is from that shit, yeah, honestly. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal team of the Berry Big Six. Okay, so, wait. Um, so the victim was not here. He's 21, what the hell? The fact that, um, he's older than Francisca and Maya is interesting. So he, she's the victim's daughter, I guess? Hopefully not like wife or anything. Poor Francisca wiped the tiger, uh, whipped the tiger, but she'd let it kill us. Honestly, yeah. Spot, but <gasps> uh, she's giving very much that vibe. My name's Maya Faye, I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, oh, uh, Phoenix Wright, entertaining a little. When you put something next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet you. Huh? Likewise. What about this? Can we tell? Can you tell me about it? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out how things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. I don't know, I feel like she's gonna end up being bad. Why? Hey Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. So very... Very... Yeah. Oh, I see. Wait. What did she just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm... I'm so sorry about what happened... to him. What do you... Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing you last night. You mean your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished around 10pm. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast? That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious why she's so happy. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon... Um, Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Oh. Leon the Lion? <laughs> Maybe? Leon? Yes. Leon the Lion. Yeah, yeah. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name... Name choices. Leon... He died? Yes, actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. Oh. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Huh? So, her father killed her... her lion. Interesting. So, let's show her a picture of her dead dad. What can you tell me about this? Uh, no. That's fine. That'd be a bit traumatic just doing that. Okay, examine. I forgot we could do this. Hey, it's a rope. Only for tyrant walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tyrant walkers in the show when we saw it. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can help us. Not a single clue. You know, I've been meaning to ask you. What exactly do you mean when you say clue? What are you looking for? A bloody chainsaw, for instance. Well, there definitely is not one of those here. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. <laughs> yeah, please, yeah. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means a lot of people can fit in Big Top. He's right. We can fit 500 people on the show. 500? That's amazing. 
Flying around above um, above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. Interesting. Um, maybe she has a. Oh wait, wait. Why is she so happy? Is she Haley's love chat? Honestly, she very much gives off Haley vibes. Uh, maybe she has a men's condition. A men's condition could spoil her out. Maybe she's just good money for the instant. <laughs> she got to sue her in fact. Um, admit objection. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> we object to this girl. Uh, but welcome, admit. How's it going? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, good money. Yes, um, getting her dad for killing her animal. Honestly, you could sue. You know, like Judge Judy, that sort of stuff. Look, that's when Max comes out during the show. But to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the line during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Legion's back and jump out on the line's mouth. I'm gonna try it too. I'm on a Nick's back and jump on the line's mouth. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about this girl. I think we all do, let's be honest. Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows who you're, that you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Me? Of course. I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Really? You think so? Technically she is right, because the pink... Was it? You know the samurai, um, the still samurai, the pink version. Isn't that based off of Maya? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. What about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch, thanks a lot, Maya. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hmm, what have we missed? Let's go here, and now we want to present the Magatama. Hit that! Let's see if we we learn something about Max, right? Meeting with Russell. Last night, you met with the Ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly! We reached an agreement about, a, um, about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth. What do you mean? Um, you just went to his office to negotiate in your salary. I hate lies. And I hate lies even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fees last night? Take that. I to present that. Jeebus. What's the matter? Sweetie, you must have something wax, uh, some wax built up in your ears. Um, you haven't listened to me at all. Huh? You're still not listening, are you? I said I hate lies. Oh, we got it wrong. Okay. It seems that evidence isn't enough to make him confess. You wanna try again? It doesn't bother me at all. Do you have any proof? Never mind. We'll leave it up. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather more clues before I try again. He's a bit pompous, isn't he? Hmm. Do we get everything? I like this music, though. Do we present? Yeah, we present it all. Yeah. Okay, move. He looks fruity. We, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Pride Month, so it's fine. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go? What to do? So now what do we do? Huh? There's still a lot of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to the witnesses, gather evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. We still don't even know what happened in the first place. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. I have sworn I heard that before. Well, we never have enough information. Just admit, you don't have a clue what happened. Okay, that didn't do anything for us. Oh wait, you know what? Let's get, let's present our badge to Maya. Well, your badge is still shining, barely. It might be showing a bit of wear, but I try to take good care of things. You sure do love to show off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me? She's right. I whip it out at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Actually, can we... It's kind of pointless, don't you think? If it is pointless, then you don't have to worry about showing it to me. Well, she, when she's right, she's right. Okay. Where are we supposed to go, then? Wait. Move. 
Let's go back to the detention center. Talk. Now. Move. What are we missing? No, we've done that. We've presented everything. Oh my god, we're an idiot. We need to examine this place. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch, pal. The killer's behind that tarp. Ah! Oh, gotcha. I was just kidding. Ugh. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I'll be no worries, boy. I'll see you in a bit. Um, this is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murder was sloppy, leaving all these prints over it. No, 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 no. We are the ones who left the prints. An investigation can be pretty messy, things sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in the splat over there. Um, <laughs> Love that. The other detectives all had a good laugh for, um, when the prosecutor came with me. My God, there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. Hot oh, gumshoe, baby. Oh. oh, we. You know what, Francisca, piss off. She she fully just whipped him. <laughs> it's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the preserving the evidence. True. This year, I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to it too? I mean, we don't have air conditioners. And what do you mean you want an air conditioner? Didn't, you didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize of the annual police Christmas pie. They really pay peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter. A lot of peanuts. The safety line around the um the safety line around the circus is kept on all night long. So they should be on all um they should have been on at the time of murder. So we seem the murder took place in the light. That's strange. That's strange indeed, hmm. I mean that's nice and all, but I still haven't found anything new. Wait. Use twelve in one shampoo exposed. Shame. That time so fabulous. We haven't got anything added to a core record, so what's happening here? Are we missing something? Like examine wise. Hello, anything here? No. Am I being an idiot? Oh, we haven't examined here. Maybe it's this? It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention. Candy and popcorn. They've, they've even got snow cones. We need snow cones in the middle of winter. Nick, um, do you think we could buy some snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up around here. Hey, wait a second. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, Beau, let me message someone. Um... Jeez, okay, never mind, sorry, just responding to someone, bear with. Such a terrible streamer. Hey, that should be fun. Okay, hopefully she doesn't notice that this got snow in the corner, it's not syrup. So a dog is fully pooped. Miss Al has fully peed on the floor. <laughs> I wish there was actually discolored snow in the background, that would be funny. Nick, the entrance is right here. Right, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that. 
Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly, not today. I know that too. Oh well, I just have to take pictures with whoever I stumble across. It's not like we're here for business or anything. This is the box office where they sell tickets, um, sell all the tickets to the concert, circuit. Um, circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. And why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. <laughs> if you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know I never do that to you, Nick. <laughs> hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to see no entry if no one's actually entering? <laughs> it's almost like a Zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not sure. I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. <laughs> I bet all the stars stay in that lodging house. I mean, it's kind of weird that we've already gone. Uh, bearing with, um, it's playing saxophone, so talented. You know what? I respect a dog that could play saxophone. It's like that dog on, was it Britain's Got Talent, that um, he, uh, the singing dog. That was cute. <laughs> Um, right, that's kind of... This stream is doing a nice job introducing the circus performers. Maximilian Galactic and his commercial, uh, comical comrades. You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? You're right, I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to the kids climbing up on the top. Um, I don't think that was why. I'm really confused about what we're actually supposed to be inspecting. Look, look, it's Max. Even when you don't want to see him. Poof. He's right there in front of you. Sure, the science is very big circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cir Cirque du Gal Galactica. The stars on his cheek sure are dreamy. How about I draw stars on your cheek, Nick? I've got marker. Nah, nah. It's alright. The very big top is so very enormous. <laughs> Yet, yeah, one look at that huge tent looming over you and, realize, and you realise that this is the circus. I know, I know. It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Is that everything? I'm still very confused where we're supposed to be going. We definitely presented everything here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we presented that. That's okay. I'm already lost. We love to see it. Um, when you make absolutely fabulous magic, it costs enormous sums of money. Sums that will even boggle your mind. Okay. Uh, that's where you went to his room that night? I went to ask him for a fabulous rise. I wonder how people can lie with such a straight face. Hmm. That's... That's the ringmaster. Okay, here we go. This is what I was missing. It's a shame what happened. He was going to be like a father. He was going to be a father, like, like a father, like to me. Hmm. What? Huh? Ah, so lost already. Oh no, okay. Why are we so lost already? Am I that useless? I can't see where we're supposed to be going. I might, I might be missing something examining wise. Nothing. No? Okay. No, we've got nothing for you. Why am I doing so crap? <laughs> I'm already lost. And it's the it's the examination. Move.
Hmm. Gene, have you got anything for us to love? Let's just do this. Present the Magatama. You know what? I, oh my god, wait. I just realized we can present people, can't we? Wow, bad bitch has. <laughs> Sat bitch has. <laughs> I'm back. I forgot we can do this. I want to present. Uh, um, this woman. You're going down this time, pal. Oh, is that right? You've been practicing a thousand cracks a day, pal. Cracks, wait. You don't mean cracks of the... Yep. Cracks of the whip. Uh... I thought she was that. Oh, what's up, Barry? Go on, affidavit. Oh, that was the word that we couldn't say. Affidavit. Uh, for most of the performance as at the circus. Yeah, certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. I'm sorry, I was just messing around. Let's present himself. I'm making a really strange terrible looking face, though. Hmm. Are you sure you weren't born looking like that? Uh-huh. I wish I was more alive. Right now, I'm just tired. Well, there's not much you can do about that, so you just have to keep on being tired. You're right. Glad I stayed out of this one. Looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the sector. Oh. Oh, yeah, I bet. Affy David. Affy David. Um, you know what they say? A bad attitude follows everywhere you go. Hmm. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Boom, roasted. He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. Incredibly well made to look at. Well, it does have a very classy decorative element. So look at Made to order hat. That is a, a, a symbol of Max's fabulousness. Found at the scene. Max uses a cloak, a silk hat, and white roses um, as his signature symbols. They're mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. It must have hit a nerve. That's what you said. Who said? Eyewitness. Eh? T tell us about the eyewitness. There we go. Okay, we need to remember that we need to present profiles. Um, so about the eyewitness. Oh, 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 um, you know I'm not gonna tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trouble card. Oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remember to tell you. Wait, that's such cool emojis, but what the hell? Also, my, eye went re my eyes have just gone very blurry all of a sudden, bear with. Oh. Oh, oh, that felt weird. It must be because that um, there was an eye. The, 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 it must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Why is it? Why is everyone hiding here? Honestly, move. Um, seeker's entrance. Let's go to Regina and do the same thing. Let's present her dad. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room? It's probably a good idea to try that out for myself. Yeah. Alright, I look so cute in this photo. Um, in this picture. Didn't you think I look cute? Don't you? Don't you? You sure do. No objections, um, no objections there. 
Does it know her? No, no. Max, why not? It's Max! Hey, where's Max now anyway? Y you don't know? No? He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay, Nick and I will help find him. Max isn't isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal. Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? <laughs> that was ominous. What's on your mind? Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Um, well... <sighs> what? Really? And then... <sighs> oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. Oh. But, professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyway. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. 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 Apparently it's the tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm. I haven't met him yet. Regina seems to, um, to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. I wonder why. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day? Even I want to press my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. How old is she? Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. They hit the brakes on that. Stop. They hit. No. You didn't say that. Guys, for legal reasons, Phoenix did not say that, okay? He did not say that he would profess his love to a 16-year-old. He didn't. No, that did not happen. <laughs> oh, that pride emoji, so that's cute. I guess YouTube doesn't like me. It just gives you a cat emoji. I mean, the cat emoji is cute, so that's fine. Um, guys, that's a yikes moment, though. He? <laughs> wait. But, wait. How old are we? Because I was thinking, because Max professed love, but he's 21, so... That's also... How come you get you guys get boxes of cats? They're so cute. Um, okay. Move. Can we go to the room now? Yeah. Oh my god, I thought these were, like, boobs. It's just a big waistcoat. 28, big top ringmaster's room. How was the ring... This is the... This was the ringmaster's room? Yes, the stream belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ring master last night. I think he mentioned it. it. That is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max. I want it, I want it. Nick, I want it. I want to get out of here. Nick, look at the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the, um, all the awards the sex has won. Like... All County Quiz Champions, Ringmaster uh, Association Mini Gold Master, Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ, Pettigrim Grand Prix. Wow, the Ringmaster was multi talented in ways I could have never imagine. But, like, not to do with the circus at all. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Right, we're supposed to be um, the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice I took one. Ugh, she already swiped one. <laughs> You're in incorrigible, you know that? Max G, a promo poster, M. Wait, what? Embla zoned with Max's three famous symbols. Oh, there's a hat, the cape, and the flowers, right? That's gonna come into play, probably. Look at all the stars on the poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. But this is the way to get, um, other way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make purchases to promote our law firm. Spine tingling legal action. Mind them legal legal legalese. You will say wow. Or perhaps hold it. Don't miss out on a stunning life of uh, life or death courtroom fill ride. Those taglines our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. <laughs> um what's this case called? Um ten about big top, I think. Phoenix Wright is twenty one in memories. Um, 26 in Trials and Tribulations, 33 in Apollo Justice, and 34 in Dual Destinies. Oh, okay, interesting. Wait, so which one's this? This is Justice for All. There is someone between 21 and 26. It's a table for guests, so there's some papers scattered on top. 
Ah, look at this. Max salary is written on the piece of paper. Yikes. What is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible. It looks like she's about to get ready to, pa um, ready to pass out in shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they use to negotiate Max's salary. Well, it's still raining, that's very sad thing. The ringmaster signed in data. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago. Hmm. So you wanted more of a raise? Oh, Colpix! Welcome back. How's it going, Dad? I just said Dad, I meant Lad. Arthur? Yeah. How are you doing, Colpix? Ringmaster's papers. Um, okay, nice. Why can we still investigate this? This was the table we used when the visitors came to see him. Ew, there's mud, ca mud caked all um, on the table. Some of terrible man is supposed to put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about that. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyways? Uncouth. I'm um, high complex again. Hey, hi blur again. <laughs> This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. There's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Hmm, okay. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. Can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. She probably is, that's why. Oh, we're not gonna check it? Okay. This is where the ringmaster plays the makeup. It's quite a collection of most understated colours. Shocking pink, for example. This one says 100% all natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. <laughs> the ringmaster must have a really concern about skincare. Very metrosexual. Oh, uh, that's what you like shopping, right? Metrosexual. Nick, look at all these photos lined up on the wall. It's like I got a tour of the circus's history. This is so cool. It seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing in the office. We could put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. And what if we had clients who... And what if we had clients who were found guilty? Um, we just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Nick, how have you got me thinking about losing cases? Why do you do that? Love that. Uh, doing good. I have less underscore on YouTube. <laughs> oh, did you join? Oh, did you join um, Blur's stream copics? Nice. It sucks that Regina doesn't love him that much. She might do. I think she's just masking it. I like to, the benefit of the doubt. All these frames look the same. They're almost like thank you cards. It's like every year the ring master makes donations to charity. Ah, to the Robot Clown Research Center. You're kidding, right? What? They might be perfectly reputable chari um, charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. Is that it? <sighs> oh my god. It's not even that late. It's not even midnight here. I'm so tired. Let's try and skip through that. No. Let's present Max's hat, maybe? No. Oh, very big circus. Daddy. This silk hat, um, this silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought the idea of wearing that from, uh, I thought of the idea for wearing that hat. Huh? Really? He took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off that sketch. Is that only one of these hats in the entire world? Isn't that cool? Okay, that's gonna be something to know. That's gonna come to play. Uh, he's always here, I appreciate it. That. Oh, nice. Do you have school tomorrow or summer holiday? Oh, you're on summer holiday, I forgot, yeah. Nice. Um, do you have school tomorrow? Oh, wait, sorry, I read that parent. <laughs> Says 28, very big circus, circus engines. Huh? Hey Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. I excuse me. Hmm. The 
hello? Wow, he shoots quite well. Excuse me. What, her, um, me? Yes, you work at sex, don't you? No, no, I'm just your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any other regular person would hang out at a circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a servant medium. My name's Maya. He's probably that Trello guy or Trello guy who professes love. He looks like he'd be a singer or something. Um, I don't know. Singer, mine, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I know they were talking. Uh, well, I am just happy to be um, buzzing by. I don't suppose you have any. Um, I still don't suppose you ha- Wait, blah, 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 blah. let's try again. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. But not a carny, I- I'm, I'm a performer, actually. I am no, the, the ventriloquist. Oh, he's a- never mind, he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> I'm Benjamin- I'm- I'm Benjamin Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? <laughs> yes, that's right, but everyone- everyone calls me b b b Ben. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Interesting. Mine, what's that? Mine? 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 Yeah, his 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 lack of a chin is really annoying me. What happened? Excuse me, Ben. Uh, yes? You mean me? About the murder. i like to take you, um, talk to you about the details anyway. Really? But well, I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up, just try and smile. Would you mind telling us about Max? Uh, something about Max? Why is something like Galactica? But M Max? He, he, not, not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Uh, uh, ow, my head hurts. Yikes. I hope he's okay. It sounds like he's just popped a gasket. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist? I, I, I'm just, just a ventriloquist guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Um, what's this game by the way? Oh, Phoenix, right. Uh, Justice for Wolf, I think it is. It's the second game in the trilogy. Uh, Black and White Clown. Yeah, the one in French. Uh, f uh, the French ones. What's this game about solving crime scenes? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, crime cases. Yes, yes, that's it. Nick, don't yell at me like that, you can't do that. I can't help it, he's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I... Right now, my... Uh, 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 I... Uh, what? What? what, what? <laughs> uh, he's contagious. Detective J, honestly, your boy's a detective, guys. Let's present, I have a feeling that he's got something to do with Regina. Would you mind talking a joke at this? Uh, um, I, uh, probably not, but... I guess we won't need you to look after this after all. Okay, I lied. Max, no. Talk, no. Move. Move. I think we still need to talk to this guy. Oh, Moe's room? Wait, I thought we weren't allowed in here, what the hell? Huh? I thought we weren't allowed. Your boy is a good detective, I hope. Oh, wait, I've been pinging on Discord, what's this? I want to play that. <laughs> I should change my profile picture in so many places. I want to build a snowman. Um, you know what, to be fair, I mean, art stops coming back, so maybe. <laughs> December 28th, lodging house, first floor, Moe's room. Hello? Kablamo! Congratulations, you're the big wiener! The one million visitors in the room and the one Mr. Moe girls, aka me! Earplugs. Must find earplugs. Celebrate this momentaneous occasion, would you care to buy some, uh, care for some uh, from an organic grape? Just one. Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> I will try and give you more than one. Um, no, no, no. If it was funny, it was your duty as a human being to laugh. 
People don't just who don't laugh just usually last scene and last thing. Catch my drift. Ah ha 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 I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two. But this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's why I object to. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. But you have to admit he's kind of funny. Ugh, no, I do not have to admit that. Because he isn't. Ha 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 Oh. Oh, yeah. You want to build a snowman? Um. Yeah. <laughs> I I can't remember the last time I got a snowman, I'm not gonna lie. Could you please tell us more about Berry Big Circus? It's a very big story! Are you sure um you sure got the time that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. <sighs> this circus has been in business for twenty years. We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. Twenty years? Wow. Working on the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TVs, and modeling, there's just too much competition. But, but, you love the circus. I love the circus. I love it too. That's why I've been here for 20 years. We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. Nick, you just made a joke. Laugh. Ha oh, ha 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 ha. The ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus. Well, a real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew that I had a family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Oh. Uh, Mo. <laughs> wiggity, 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 what? Ugh. I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. <laughs> Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ah. Let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was took it out, so I went came back here. Now if the went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected. This guy is the key uh, this guy is the eyewitness of the crime. I'm gonna sleep now, no worries, cold pigs. Bye bye, have a nice sleep. I shouldn't stay on too long to be fair. I should do a short one and play with jazz. Better with them. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna leave actually. Yeah, we must have truly ahead of his time. Um, he would always add new elements to the show. Many elements. When you've been performing for that long time, you're right, that's it starts to get a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my own I can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old fashioned. A bit or long in the tooth. That makes it, uh, that make believe it takes things too far. Make believer? That magician. The one who thinks he's all high and mighty. Oh, he doesn't like Max. He has the gall to say to me, you're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean by one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep, he's got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder? Go ahead. No, no way. Just forget I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something on Max. Okay, so... Thing is, it's one of those things where obviously you need a motive. But so far, looking at this, the obvious killer is Trello. Now, not Trello. No, I'm assuming. I assume this guy was Tre M. John. It's. It might just be this Ben guy, right? I wouldn't be surprised. It's gonna be. I don't want it to be Regina, but she seems evil in her own way. What you guess? We'll see how it goes. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with them. Don't say a word, pal. Um, I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay it. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old stiff lips here to make me with, uh, make with the funny. Stiff lips? Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. Ahem, ahem. 
What's the matter? Just getting ready. Okay. Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? It's because he's always right, guys. Because I'm right all the time. <laughs> he's so deadpan. He's like, that's that's the best you can. Oh my god, wait. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It makes sense. Oh my god, Plum, you've cracked case. He's the killer. He is the killer. Get him out. <laughs> At least his expectations are low. I won't let him quit his day job. Yeesh. Cut the guy some slack. At least it was funny having chuckles over her. It wasn't the greatest joke either, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. <laughs> that night. Once I tucked myself into bed, I heard this, that, this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Okay, that was probably the whack. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed, and that's when I saw... Oh. Oh. That ain't good. <laughs> no question without a doubt, it was the magician. Oh! Um, okay. Wait. <laughs> I don't know, is this a bit more... Right, okay. So, this hat is one of a kind, right? It's got a feather in it. So where's the feather? Right? I'd like to fit- this might just be a fake hat. Maybe he's making it up. Well, actually no, he wouldn't be making it up because then it would show the feather. Which means... By that logic, I don't think he's making it up. He probably did see someone pretend to be Max. Which means... He probably isn't the murderer. But then, yeah, the fact that he doesn't have a feather in... Yeah, it could be anyone. But, there's no feather. That's what I'm thinking. So it could just be a guy in a top hat. Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. That's all I saw. But it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he's letting on. Mr. Kara. Whew. This plant's really taking our work seriously. I try to hone my craft day and night with the latest in jester technology. Unicycles, trampolines, battle balls, accordions. It looks like you're putting quite a bit of wear and tear on that equipment. Well, the theme of my act as a clown is. How many ways can a fat, a fat funny guy fall now? I don't care what I break or how I break it, as long as it ends with me on my bum. Ahahahaha. <laughs> Carrots are one of my trademark flops. Yep, I saw you use them. You must believe in a carrot um, and no stick approach. You put carrot out in front, for motivation, but I guess the trick is gauging what flavour you want each day. Exactly, you were really paying attention, weren't you? Damn Jake Marshall back it again. Honestly. I, I bet that's gonna be it though. They're gonna be like, oh that was Max if they saw the top hat and everything, and we're gonna have to be like, no, we there's no feather. You know, I eat about five of these carrots every single day. Do you eat that many? You've gotta change up the taste every now and then. I don't understand any of that, nor do I ever want to. Oh. Take a look at my desk. Aren't I the, um, the most studious clown you've ever seen? Every few months I have, I spend studying a room. I guess I pull my finger or clank on the internet and repair. Not to mention the bestseller Jean Luc de Ludac Guide to Obnoxious French Pirates? Um, they all seem to cover rather basic topics though. Maybe he's just trying to cover all his bases. Exactly, I want to be a Renaissance clown. Too bad he didn't buy how to be a funny clown. Phoenix. Behave yourself, love. I look awfully snazzy in these costumes. Um, did you just use the word snazzy in a sentence? I sure did. There's some hot couture in the best international clown designers. At least, that's what they sell on TV show channels I use. I like having a big collection so I can match my costumes in the mood and my carrot. <laughs> you know, I only own one t-shirt. The rest are all clown costumes. Snazzy dresser, more like spazzy dresser if you ask me. Is that allowed? Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> Mo, you've gotten quite the collection of pajamas. They really scream out to you. Do you think that allowed, huh? I kind of thought they were refined. You know, a bit too adult for me to use on stage. That's why I use them as pajamas. Wait a second, he sleeps in clown costumes? <laughs> What's this? A banana peel? Maya. 
Oh my, oh my, what a wonderful fall girl, a fall girl. You should remember that when you see a banana peel, get ready to fall now. It's the one basic, uh, basic tenant of companionship. Ow, 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 ow. Stupid ass. Every night I fall down a hundred times to practice a proper banana peel I'll break for. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, she really is a pro her, Nick. This falls are totally different than my slips. You, you love you hear it in the background. Bazan. Let's... Hmm. If he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too. Oh! Sorry, I crossed the line. He truly is disgusting you and me. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clunked Ben right over the head, as hard as he could. Oh. Ben? Ventriloquist with the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate yourself. Cafeteria? Let's just say there was got, um, there's got to be something interesting there. Ha 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 ha. Let's laugh. Ah, oh, yes. The very big second is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. <laughs> oh, I killed myself. I, I killed myself. Really, I'm dying here. Cro coronary, coronary. I was just laughing to hear his own voice. Man. Yeah, fair. An actual circus map. Nice. Something master's daughter, Virginia. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the sex promises. Cute than a little bit of Maltese, that Virginia. If only my Lorena was like you. Lorena? Ah, Lorena's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. Aw. Is she what they say about the tears of a clown? Uh -huh. Ah, Ben. How's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right. What well, was I surprised when I told he they told me his secret? He's got a second mouth where his belly button it should be. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't want to tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, that's some point to tell. Who would talk if he hasn't got his puppet Trillo? Wait, Trillo's a puppet? Interesting. Trillo? Isn't Trillo the one that professes that with love? If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you better get a word out of him. But Sp Spooderman. Wait, so the puppet was the one that in professed love. Also, there's a massive crack on the ceiling that I just didn't inspect. Really? Hmm. Master and puppet. Okay, examine. It's a hole in the ceiling. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? I bet he jumped through that trampoline and, like, bounced his head up too high. Well, um, I was riding a pogo stick and I guess I overdid it a little though. <laughs> Never mind. Close enough. I oh, did it a little. There is a broken trampoline there, though. What can I say? Something. Um, sometimes things get a little crazy in one college day. Huh? Master of Puppets. Interesting. Move. No. Okay. I want to try stuff. No. Oh. This is safe stuff, that's fine. Uh, let's move. Big top, let's go back in here. Big top cafeteria. Uh, Peter Park, I like the doggy shoes, honestly. Spood and men. Ew, this place is gross. It must be because of last night. Didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me, what, is the, what was it that Mo said? It's that yesterday morning, Max bonk, clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's got to be something interesting here. Hey, what's got to be interesting? I won't ask. Hmm. Is Gotti a person? Lego Spider- Are you just naming all the different Spider-Man? Ben. All the spider mens is- The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list of posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. 
Why is kill a hamburgers? You'd try it, wouldn't you? No, I'd, I'd probably die. It looks like they've left uh, exactly how it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm. Look at all these dishes making me hungry. Let's go get a burger and a snack outside. Uh, at the snack out- Stack, stack, snack, stand outside. There we go. Want to finish with the case. All right, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go, whoa. Where's the mute button when you need it? <laughs> oh God, he smashed a ball over his head. The chair's been knocked over. That's what it looks like. It's almost like someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self-defense. Or maybe Region just likes to eat his dinner in the cafeteria. This is this. What's this? It must be a juice bottle or something. Ah, watch out, Nick. There's broken glass all over the floor. Hmm, the broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? There's got to be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to get go back and meet with him. Him? Okay, orange juice bottle. Okay. This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here, Max has written on it. It must be his VIP table. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? You won't be putting a 10 course meal on it. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? Keep our cafeteria clean. It doesn't seem like anyone ever reads the sign, huh? Maybe they should make it easier to understand, like, clean it or die. Well, it definitely made the clean up. Dirty dishes all over the place. It must be be too hectic last night to clean it up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. If you think um I think you and I should clean this place up for them. Why do we have to clean it up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bears reaping repeating. But but this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Ugh, you know I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning up daffy dirty cafeterias. Ah, a bulletin board. For, um, bulletins. It doesn't look like there's any useful clues posted here. Boring. We should just leave Juicy Tidbit for someone to read. Juicy. You know, like a fake clue. Hmm. Maybe something like, message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. <laughs> um, you'll die anyway. What if radioactive spider bites turtle? Spider turt. Okay, it says he, so let's just present this ball to everyone. Oh. Move. Um, uh, puzzle. Move. Nose room. Hassan. What do you think? Oh, I know. Go to detention center. Oh, here we go. The mutant turtles are our teenage mutant ninja turtles. Yeah, <laughs> it's December twenty eighth. Detention center visitors room. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. Oh, did you just call me sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fabulous. Oh, uh, wond wonderfully. Fantabuloso. I mean, fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. What's wrong? Couldn't make you such a scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. What about the Oh, fabulous. You like to sign a few? Can I ask what you do with such an ex exorb exorb exorbitant salary? We've already, uh, we've already covered the point. I'm paying off my father's debt. How could you possibly have such a large amount of debt? For example, say you rented a video, and perhaps you forgot about it for, say, a short period of about 10 years. You'll have the biggest late fee known to man. It's kind of like that. Wow, now I see how you can get that much debt. It makes sense now. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Maximilian Galactica, no no matter when you see me, you get shivers, don't you? <laughs> oh. The silk hat, the cloak, the white roses on my chest. See, the massive feather stands out. There's no way that picture's gonna, like, you know, 
Like, the fact that it's missing the feather is probably something. YouTube has amazing, one amazing video, uh, one, wait, has one amazing tail video, Jesus Christ, that took me a while. The silk hat, the cloak, the white roses on my chest, and my symbols, you know I had to cut the number of symbols down to three. Really? You had quite a few to begin with then, huh? Well, I thought that you could never have too many symbols. Sunglasses, beauty mark, soft pillow for it, a beard, buck teeth. I gave all sorts of symbols a shot. But if I forgot... I'm off. <laughs> I don't think it was. Okay, I think we're fine. Let me draw the blinds anyway. <laughs> but if I forgot where I am... Um... But if I forgot what one when I put on my makeup, everything I would forget who I am. That's awful, especially for a magician. Ah, this is my silk hat. It's the only one of its kind in the world. It's one of my most prized possessions. This silk hat proves that I'm somewhere else. I was somewhere else. Where did they find this, huh, sweetie? They found it at the murder scene. Ah! I. I. Oh, no, nothing about nothing. Ew, Max is so prophetic like this. <laughs> Max was really confused. I can't find it by writing turtle emoji. I need to draw spider. Honestly, please draw spider turtle. Meeting reversal. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about my um, salary for my six month old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies. Oh. Got an itchy eyeball. I hate lies. I hate lies even more. What are you insinuating? You have any proof that I did something to negotiate? This? Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be like behavioural things where it's like, yeah, you can't be smacking people over the head, lol. Master's room cafeteria. Um, for, what's, what's an acro? We'll leave it then. Like that was. You know what, I didn't want to play this too long, but I mean, if it takes too long, we'll leave it for the time being. The problem is, there's too many things to like, check. Oh wait, he did wait, I just realized, this guy doesn't talk to anyone, I don't think. Yeah. Can't move. Room. We already um, expected that, didn't we? Oh, god damn it. Um, I can't remember. But how would you say happy, happy, happy? Happy, happy, happy. Happy, 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 happy. It's like we need to present the ball to someone. I presented it to Max, but then that didn't happen. Right? Oh my god, I should have used WASD. WASD, I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> I don't know, I can't see anything else. Move. Um, maybe we do. Okay, wait, maybe. I don't want to break everything on the psyche locks. Let me move. I'm going to try it again. Escape. Save. So I presented the broken bottle, right?
Onelian 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 Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave you guys with uh, with um with Maximilian Galactica tied up in chains. I'm gonna make a sandwich. It's not midnight, so it's fine.
Hello, welcome back. Oh, buddy, hell, you guys are talking about. Um, I will say I'm going to end stream um, in a bit. Um, not too soon. We'll probably try and get the two hour mark. Um, see how it goes. Um, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> um, let me catch on this chat. I'm gonna finish. It does fit nicely in with jumping cat. <laughs> um, oh, it's too long. Quick, um, important question. Your favorite demon slayer ship? I don't ship anyone. I've got old. Oh, what's yours? Um, wait. Happy, happy, happy would be glad, glad, glad in Swedish. That's funny. <laughs> um, I don't have many ships. Mostly canon ones. Quite popular. That's so cute. I'm going through a ship right now. I'm sure Johnny is, um, I don't watch Demon Slayer enough. Um, all the fans. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I feel bad, but like, um, it's more the fact that I've got to have an early night, but also Jack, my friend Jazz wants to, um, play, um, Valorant, and she's been at work all day, so I feel bad making her have to sit alone doing nothing. Um, okay, last night you met the ringmaster. Did we? Oh, did we? Did you? I actually have no idea how you say happy in Chinese or Mandarin. I'm terrible. I'm awful at it. Oh, to negotiate your salary, says you. Exactly. We reached an agreement about my salary for my um, six month old contract. That's the truth, the whole truth? What do you mean? We just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies, and I hate lies even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did some other negotiate with you last night? No, oh, none of this actually works, right? Unless it's this, because... Wait, no. Do you have any proof? Um, uh, maybe just... No, wait, no. Because it was last night, but he discussed this a week ago. There we go. There's no happy in Mandarin. That ha, doesn't happiness doesn't exist in Cantonese, obviously, or Mandarin. But the, the, that's just on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying that you, um, you weren't lying that you said you received quite a raise. Oh yeah, it is the fact that it was a, a week ago. So we clearly discussed something else. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not being co what with, not with the compensation, just the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F f f fabulous. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll let you. Um, I'll let you. I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you, and why would he do that? Sorry, sweetie, that's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there's a, some sort of problem. Um, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? So now it's the bottle, because this is what I tried to submit at the beginning. So now it's going to be, because now he's calling for an inappropriate behavior. I get it now. I'm not familiar with the concept. He has cool hair. He does, but he's zesty as hell. But it's fine, because it's Pride Month, so we support him. Our trend of, I think every game that we've played has had some link to LGBT this month, so it works. Have you seen JoJo? I'm assuming you took it to Blair, because you know I haven't. Isn't that why you were called to the room last stream that night? Well, where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, of course. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max. What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used it this ball to... So, well, is to hit someone. Who was it again? It was one of these two. We lose four. Um... Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Is it Ben? But Ben. Oh, you nailed him over the head with the ball, didn't you? Oh, there's, did you see the little puppet in the corner? That was, that was funny. Um, yeah, my friend's big bro tried to get me to watch it, but I'm not the biggest fan of the art style. Fair enough. And that's why you got caught to the ringmaster room that night. F -f -f Fabulous. Yeah, but you might as well be a magician. 
Look at the ab line. Damn, boy. Oh god, finally we got health back. Thank you. Okay, now we can start again from the beginning. Um, we heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How are those Jurassic Geriatrix? Geriatrix, there we go. Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, yes, yes. Sweeties, that's what they call jealousy. J-E-A-L-O-U-S-Y. <laughs> Me trying to spell jealousy like in my head as well. Um, I saw that video, I saw, and she is a bitch. B-R-C-T-H. <laughs> it's like, bick <laughs> Um, oh, fair enough. My brother refuses to watch, uh, Spokons because he doesn't like the shading under their necks. Oh, fair. Like, the really dark, like, it's just, like, black. <laughs> they are absolutely jealous of my fab- of my absolutely fabulous self. People who, um, who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand? For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm. So Regina underst- Regina understands him, huh? I plan on getting married to her. She's truly my sweetie pie princess. Oh, lies. Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Oh? You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder? Yes. I was with him around 10pm. Once I was done with practice. I went to his room where, uh, right after we finished. Then they found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Um, I love sports animes. I've only seen Yuri on Ice and part of Hai Haiku. Oh, how'd you say that one? Haiku. Thank you, my beloved. But I know what happens in Haiku. Thanks, Twitter. Um, I've, I've, I've watched three, the swimming one. Um, my friend told me to watch the volleyball one, the Haiku one. Um, and oh, there was another sports one I was supposed to watch. Yo, oh wait, it was Yuri on Ice, lol. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Finally, Master's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Oh, damn. Sorry, Max, I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's alright, I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. Kaput, he's dead. And then, I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Did you go? No. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tap tapered off a bit. It was still very cold outside. But I have no idea why. Um, what he went off to do. Truth is, yesterday morning we joined breakfast. We had a run in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We thought about my sweet about yeah, yeah, of course. Because they both proposed, didn't they? You mean Regina? Well, confess the love, sorry. That ill ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you um would you put that up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told he was in love with her? Are you sure that's the Ben this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that he um, all I can say is he made me mad and I had to tap him on the um on his hard head. Okay, look here guys, right? As the message disappears. Uh, that's when the ringmaster called me and I realised that how it was my chance. There's a little puppet guy. Your your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid out all on the out all on the table. I asked him to let me marry um let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie, and no one else's. Hmm, I see. This man was causing me so much trouble, I was I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Kill him? <laughs> um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trillo can't say a word. Not about Ben. Oh, he stole the puppet. Trillo? The puppet. The Ventura Chris puppet. His real name is Triloquist. No, oh, So their full name to give is Ben Triloquist. <laughs> That's funny. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know. That's why I hid it. But the police came and took me away, of course. That puppet started flapping, um, flapping off at the bolster. I'd be screwed. 
You hid him? You mean the ventriloquist is proper? You're so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie. You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defence, are you? Well, Ben does, awf uh, does seem awfully lonely about his puppet. Fabulous. That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem. Not at all. Thanks, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Then don't go hiding puppets. Okay. Um... Circus entrance, and now we go back. Oh, damn it. There's something else. I should what? Wait. Love free, also 50% off. Um, I have a Bukutu pen, what I bought in the one con. I find a Bukutu Android uh, from One Drift website. I should watch it. Like, I like Shadow House, the way the Squawkers Club, Dragon Bay, Mushoku, Tencent, some Haikuyu. Is that Haikuyu? Or is it uh, post on my John Stick of War Ball. <laughs> Demon Suit um, um, uh, My Hero Academia poster, random anime six most leading slayer. Uh, as you can say, toilet bound. Toilet bound? I know Cocoon and Yuri and I say because I love CBHK. Oh. Toilet bound, Hano. Hanakao. I'm sorry, I'm butchering all these things. It's so great to watch. I also read it and love the art style. I, um, my friend Adam tried to get me to anime. I'm just, I, I get so distracted all the time. And I stream. Um, 728, very big circus, circus entrance. Huh? That's not here anymore. Yeah, I want to ask him something. It's called out, he's probably in the tent. Okay. I don't want no scrub, scrub, get the... Oh wait, wait, this is the completely wrong room. Uh, move. Six entrance, it's the complete other way. Move, big guitar. God damn it. Um... Uh, okay, so he's something pretty confident. Funko Pops belong in the trash. My room's full of magazines. I don't like Funko Pops. I don't think they're that great. December 28th, very big circus, big top. They the can be kind of can be fun, but I mean, they're kind of all the same thing. They're not that good. Not for what, how much they're worth as well. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints on the scene. Still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. The fact that there's no footprints is going to be the fact that they're going to be like, yeah, he flew. Because he can fly. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how, um, I'm not seeing how that's related. Here we go. Um, Funko Pops do belong in the track. Okay, there's some good ones, but not many. But honestly, I agree. Um, we're in the room. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet you wouldn't notice another poster went missing. Will you just stop? You poster p pill for a... I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of these posters. Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Mike stole this. Um, he said that he had Trello somewhere in this room. Trello, oh. The Trello because this pop up. Uh, examine. Is he in... Is he in here? You may not know this, but... There's, uh, what? Scribble... Uh, is it gonna be a new... Thingy? Like, it's gonna be obvious where Trello is. Here we go. Nick, look at all these cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. Well, Ringmaster was more talented than ways you can imagine. Hmm, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... That's Trello. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. Well, we'll give it back to him later. Oh, he's cute. Why do you have to carry this thing? I'm so happy we just like Funko Pops together. <laughs> I'm just not, I don't really care either way. So. so where's everyone? I've just gone back to Moe's room, I didn't mean to do that. So we're supposed to present Trillo, right? <laughs> this punk, huh? Trillo is such a wooden cheeky excuse for a puppet. I can't believe that this thing is what I was up against for Regina's love. Ah, oh, my sweetie pie. Love only me. What? You're up against what for Regina's love? Whatever, let's hurry up and give this thing back to Ben. 
<laughs> Move. Fine. So where's Ben? Is anyone gonna tell me where Ben is? Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot this was a place. What fuck could pop in my room and it's some bird thing from Star Wars? Oh. Oh, hey Ben. Uh, um, uh, uh, hello. Hello to you too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Oh, I, I, I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Okay, here you go, buddy. Ah, Ben. This is yours, isn't it? Y y yes, that's, that's mine. Here you go. Trello quist return to Ben. Ben Trello quist. Um, the fact that I wish one in time when I was 12. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see. Maybe we should go towards the clown once again. Hey, wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. What's your problem, anyway? <laughs> Don't you know how to group from. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you know how to properly greet someone? <laughs> okay, he's a yeah, proper ventrilo quiz. Um, says it wasn't the Pico one. No, I can't even spell the right name of it. I say it wasn't the Pico one. Oh dear. I, I, I like to think we're not all talking about the same thing. <laughs> ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I, I, I would never. It was me. Yeah, me. Down here. You, your Trello? That is Mr. Quist to you! Listen to some manners before you just blurt out my name. I tried to speak to me again, but this time with some proper man. respect. No, I can. Ugh. Mr. Quist? Is that better? No, look at me when I talk to you, you 8-bit excuse, excuse for an attorney. Trello, we've talked about insulting people. You promised. Oh, he's, pun he's punching him! Oh no! Let's just name the bitch club. The bitch club? <laughs> He was mocking me, not being mean to bullies was not including our deal. I'm sorry, Chilo. Nick, what just happened? Chilo is still a puppet, right? A ventriloquist is a puppet. Hey, who do you think you're, you are? Call me a puppet. Oh, wow, okay. I want to present Regina. No, never mind. Oh, uh, no. That's fine. He's so... No, never mind. We'll just present actual stuff. Well, we'll talk to him. What happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. Talk to me. I said I was. Um, you said you talked to me. Don't look at me. I uh, hear when you talk to me. <laughs> Shrillaquis, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off that old man? I guess so. No need to make such fuss things. You're ma ma paid us all beat us. Trillo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pill or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they now? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Grab's club over there. Um, Izuku review is that? Oh dear, I forgot about that one. Oh god. Well, you know what I have to do now, guys. I'm not gonna load on stream, don't worry. I just need to know. Ew, it's got women in it. <laughs> oh dear. You know what's funny? I might have seen that before. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> very big circus. Let me lay out for you. The bass sucks, the clown sucks, and the partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean. Yeah, your partner? You mean Ben? Um, yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off me, will you? He's just another one of them dogs right now. Oh, my. But I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. Your... Madonna? Regina. My lovely Regina. She's stunning. Um, she's stunning, right there. Well, I'm not sure I'd go that far. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand why he speaks. I, on the other hand, I... Uh, I am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. M m marry Oh dear. Big Master used not um got knocked up the head um his cheap head by that flying frog. 
Me and Max Galactica, why would you say that? Hello, straight to note, don't accuse people like that. Straight to I mean it would. Besides, you were there, you know what happened. You, you were there? Yeah. If, <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the fact. Does he actually move his mouth when he talks? You, you're going to marry Regina? Oh, he does actually talk a bit. That's right, she doesn't realise what um, the joy that the waits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed troubled. Well, she... I don't care, it's my choice, not hers. We're getting itched. Oh, I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her um, the gift of a wonderful song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You yeah, we have to know that I decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want to touch me, I, I want you to touch me, I want you to kiss me, I want you to... The rest is private. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Well, um, don't watch hentai on I will, don't worry. Um, <laughs> uh, this is not the first thing I Frankly, I watched Demon Slay before it. One of the first was Torek or, or Toradora. Um, I can't remember exactly. My friend told me to watch Toradora. Um, I, uh, it was alright. I didn't come really get into it. Well, um... That melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Uh, um, thanks. Now that Trello's here. Now that Trello's here? Does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, buttface. Uh. You must be looking forward to tomorrow. Aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Tr Trello? Left jibber jabber. Let's get to court already. Uh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah. Oh dear. Okay, I've seen some weird shit. Cheese, blur, get your brain to work. Oh god. December 28th, very big circus, big top. Hmm. Why in the world happened to Ben and Trillo? Why a pair of those two? Let me see anyway. Oh! Oh! Oh no, now what? Oh, now, first Polly, then the tiger, and now a monkey. Ooh, ooh! Ooh, oh! Yow, yow! Ah, oh, he stole the attorney's badge. Ah, ah, wah, 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 oh, wah. Oh, me too, that part of the web we've experienced. Hey, welcome back, Nick. To, to that monkey. Ah, my badge! That monkey stole it. What? He, he, he. <laughs> Mr. Tony, that face was so cute. You look so completely dumbfounded. Regina! You, you, that monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, 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 why Tony's badge? Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? Exactly. By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Mon... M money? Money the monkey. The monkey is called Money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get it back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have monkey. M even I have money problems, eh? Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Mo, uh, Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if it doesn't tame him. Oh, I see. Go to Mo's. Hmm. I guess it's time to revisit that kooky clown. Dang, I missed when Skate and Ho Hori Mia came. I haven't seen Hori Mia yet. I saw it when I came. Um, would you mind telling us about Ben? Ben? You mean that guy that's always hanging around with Shiloh? Oh. What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trello told me he was in love with me. Trello told you he was in love with you? Yeah, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. But, what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trello. Like sand through an hourglass. It's one of the days of the circus. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? No. Nope. That won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Shiloh both said otherwise. They said they asked her to be her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not with Jenny directly. But I guess Shiloh wasn't asked her directly yet. 
What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Uh, what? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trilla? Wait, wait. You do realize that Trilla is a prophet? Uh, I don't care that he's a bit stiff. <laughs> oh dear. <gasps> oh boy. She like she likes the stiff ones. Oh, we went the wrong way. Idiot. Idiot. Stupid ass. Idiot. Okay, Plaza. Oh wait, no, okay, I watched it for Mia Mura. Who? <laughs> See, the thing is with anime, I'm just so lost on it. There's too many. It's number 28, Lodging House Plaza. Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Okay, now we get to Moe's room and get our monkey. Oh, I brought from the Commerce Skate and the other was we were in high school, high school of one. I don't know. At least you got a lot from there. With? There we go. Um, December 28th, Lodging House, first floor at Moe's room. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the all time. Oh. It's all right to be wrong every now and then again, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. Oh. So, what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Flip a chat, or maybe just pull my finger, and let me have it. We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How do you know I'll pull a whoopee cushion in that chat? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> Um, okay, tour. We need Regina. Um, so what about Regina? Um, Regina's a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. Why is everyone obsessed with Regina? She was born in reason safe, you know? But that doesn't mean she doesn't really know much about the outside world, outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is an everyday reality. She lives in a dream world? Material world. Um, she see she sees dancing wild animals, men flying around in the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is, that all seems normal to her because it's everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Yeah, true. Do ask me if re her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. No. Clown sees life simply without complications. Why can't you just want a football tournament? My names are Boston National Anthem. Wait, really? <laughs> I didn't realize you're why. Wait, how did you, um, um a football tournament what? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the monkey named Money? Ah, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. Um, it makes sense that he went to start the badge. But no service sense because you chase after him. Hey, why is that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly, bravo, bravo. Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Gina's family. And who does he belong to? I'll be able to take you to where his own is staying. You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Hmm. Should we go with him now or wait a while? Go with Mo, why not? We do need to be quick, though. I'm gonna end stream after after we get to be continued, which hopefully won't be too long. December 28th, lodging house, third room, uh, third floor, at Chris. Oh, so at Chris a person. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, this is it. What's wrong, Mr. Rat? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Oh, oh. Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. Oh, great. Is his last name Bat? It seems like he's not around today. Hey, that's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, man. See you later. Money the monkey added to the court record. Interesting. Examine. It's probably here, right? Holy cow. There's a fork, a mirror, everything shiny. Even this really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. It's a trophy. It's really heavy. Nick, I found it. Your badge. It's right here. Okay, nice. Thanks. You really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah. Check this out. It's a ring. Oh, that's the engagement ring. There's something engraved on it. From T to R. So from Trillo to Regina. Probably, right? Nice. Uh, I think Phil and Neville won a football. 
people culture is really strong here, honestly. I'd like to think about it. Well, I think it's about time we wrap our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. The puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Okay, to be continued. Thank God. Oh, wow. At least we got that done. If I didn't go for a sandwich, that would have been good timing, you know? Okay, there we go. Uh, I would like to save. Right. And I'm going to end the stream here. Um, I am going to make it quick because people are waiting on me. <laughs> um, yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that sort of stuff. It helps get the channel out there. We're nearly out of 100 subscribers, so that's something as well. But, you know, you know, it helps with stats and all that. If you're already subscribed, make sure you join the Discord. And also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my streams. Tomorrow, uh, we could play more Phoenix Fight. Well, there it goes. It's either Phoenix Fight or Stardew probably tomorrow. Let me show them. We could play a bit more uh, the Kitty Powers um, game as well. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably put up a poll or something if I remember. But yeah.